Hey, 30 Minute Marketers, Gary Baker here with you. In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how to build a list in GrooveMail, how to build a form, how to collect a lead on a Groove page using a pop-up. So let's jump right into it. Of course, here we are inside of GrooveFunnels. If you don't already have a GrooveFunnels account, link in the description, click on that, grab a free account, and then follow along. So we're gonna start off by going into GrooveMail. Then we're gonna keep this real simple and we're just going to go into Leads and we're going to build a list. Currently don't have a list, so we're gonna add a new list and we're gonna call this new list. Description is the new list. Create the list. At this point, we have a new list. Now we're just gonna go down and build a form. We'll go under forms. And we have a test form here. Currently there's a bug, you can't delete forms. We'll go ahead and create a new form and we'll call it the new form for pop-up. We'll go ahead and we'll save that form. And here you have your form field, email, first name, and then of course if you want a new field, you would click, click here. You can add existing fields or you can create a custom field. For example, if we wanted to add last name, we'd go ahead and click last name. Go ahead and save that. Now you can see you have email, first name, and last name. Of course, if you want to move these, you can reorder them right there, and you simply click on Save and Next. Opt-in settings, single opt-in, double opt-in. Of course, if you have double opt-in, you have sender info here, confirmation content, confirmation page, all that stuff right there that you would use in a double opt-in, meaning they have to actually receive an email, click on the email, confirm that they want to be part of your list, that's required in a lot of different countries, depending on a lot of different regulations. So make sure you follow suit and do what you're supposed to do to make sure that you're following all the rules. We're gonna go with single opt-in and the success page is going to be 30minutemarketing.net. And we're gonna go back to opt-in, success page, opt-in, single opt-in, save and next. Welcome. Send an email. Again, this is where you would send an email that says, hey, welcome to the list. You could also create your email down here as well as add an attachment, images, all that good kind of stuff. So we'll go ahead and we'll test this right here and we'll say the sender name is me. Of course, this is not editable, so we won't do that. They're still working on that, so we're, we're not going to edit that, but we will add a welcome message test new form and of course the preview here would be the preview text and an email we're going to skip that and we're just going to say welcome and we're going to grab this right here and actually you don't have to copy it you just click on it welcome first name last name thanks for signing up with this address go ahead and add email right there uh, what else did we collect that's all we collected first name last name so we'll go ahead and we will save and next. Here we're gonna say what list do you want them to subscribe to? Obviously we want them to subscribe to our new list, so we click add. There you can see it's added to the new list. Tags and sequences outside the scope of this video, but I hear they do work, so we will be testing those at a later date. Save and next. Congratulations, your form has been created. What's next? Paste the code. So we're gonna need this embed code right here to put this on our Groove page. So add this to a Groove page. We're gonna go back to Groove Funnels. Again, link in the description, grab your free account, follow along. We're gonna pop into Groove Pages, and we're gonna use one of the sites here. Of course, you can only have three free sites and Groove Pages in the free account, then you would need to upgrade to Pro. We're just gonna go ahead and open the editor and create a new site right here. We're gonna go ahead and create a new page. And we're gonna hit the plus button to create a new page. Of course, there's videos here on the channel. Link in the description to check out all the videos about how to do this if you haven't seen it before. We're gonna use a template just to make this real simple. We're gonna grab this ebook landing page right here. Select that. Then that template loads up and you're gonna say get free here. We're gonna click on this and what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure this button to link to a pop-up. But of course, we don't have any pop-ups configured yet, so we'll go back over to here and we'll click on pop-ups. Before we do that, let's just save this so we don't lose any work, just in case. Content saved. 
Now we'll click on pop-ups and we're going to create a new pop-up. Of course we have pop-up one. We'll say new form pop-up standard on which page is pop-up appears page seven. Of course that's our new page right there. We'll just leave that alone for now. And what we'll do is, is we'll go over here and we will select a pop-up that we want to use. And we just want to use one where we're going to embed the code. So we'll grab this one right here. We'll put that in there. And then what we'll do is embed our code, which is going to be our form code that we got over from Groove Mail, which is this form code right here or the embed code. We'll copy that again and go back to Groove Pages. And then once we're in Groove Pages, what we're going to do here is we are going to edit this code right here. We don't want this button. We will delete that button, confirm that. We'll delete this text, get some of this stuff out of the way. We'll go ahead and we'll delete this text again, making some room for our code embed element, which we're gonna grab right here. We're gonna scroll down until we see other code embed, and then we're just simply gonna drag that and drop it in right here. Then once that's embedded, we're gonna hit the little cog wheel here, and we are simply going to paste in the code that we got from GrooveMail, and we're gonna save that. Then we are going to save and exit. Now we should be back in our page. Now we're going to go to our button. We are gonna link this button, and we're gonna change this to click to sign up. We're gonna link that to a pop-up, and that pop-up is new for pop-up. Update that, and we're simply going to go under Publish. We have this published under a subdomain, 30minutemarketing.groovepages.com, subfolder money. We'll go ahead and publish that. Content saved, changes usually go live within a few minutes. Go ahead and we'll click on the money page. That's gonna load up. There is our button. Click to sign up. We're gonna click that. There is our form. We're gonna go ahead and enter that. Go ahead and enter our email address. Go ahead and submit that. You can see down here in the left-hand corner that is waiting for 30minutemarketing.net because we said we were going to redirect it to 30minutemarketing.net and that's exactly what happened. Now let's pop back into Groove Mail and see our lead that we collected in our list via our form. So here we are back in Groove Mail where we left off. We'll go ahead and save and exit that. You can see here the new form pop-up had one submission. We will go back under leads, go back under list. You can see one active content, contact in the new list. We'll go under leads. There you can see the new lead. We'll click on that. And you can see coming soon all the things you're going to be able to do with that lead, recent activities, look at email sequences, transactions, subscriptions, all under your leads inside your lead database to include tags, segments, all that good kind of stuff. Go back to home. Go back to the dashboard. You can see this is still not working. It doesn't appear. Go down to analytics. Go down to list. One new active contact right there under new list. Let's see detailed stats coming soon. But the list did work. We have the lead right here in our lead database that you can see right there is the email under the new list. Now let's check our email and see if we actually got our email. So you can see here it's from me which is 30 minute marketing. So 30 minute marketing at gmail.com, test new form, click on that. Here you can see we have a warning because it was sent to myself from myself. Typically that's not gonna happen when you're checking your email because you're not gonna send it from yourself to yourself. But just so you're aware of what that is, you can see here, welcome Gary Baker, first name, last name. Thanks for signing up with the address. And then there is the address that I used to sign up. So all the variables are working first name, last name, and email address, and it did come from GrooveMailServer.com. Again, be careful with this message, report spam, looks unsafe, because I sent it from myself to myself, but the email is working. Once the lead signs up to your list, the email is sent out. So that's currently how GrooveMail is working with forms and pop-ups on Groove Pages. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up. 30 minute timer right here, click that timer, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Just like these videos you see right here, click those, keep watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.